I am outside the Bank of England at this protest against banking fiasco. Change finance now. Better banks, not food banks, are some of the slogans around me. The Shadow Chancellor, John McDonnell, is due to speak shortly. There are around 100 people here. And speakers talking about the effect of austerity on the country triggered by the financial crisis. My name is Rachel Oliver and I'm the head of campaigns and organising at Positive Money. Austerity was a political choice and it was a completely misguided choice. Our politicians cynically told us we're all in it together after the political crisis, but then they bailed the banks out with hundreds of billions of pounds of public money, and then they slashed billions of pounds from our schools and our hospitals. People are fed up of one rule for the bankers and another for the rest of us. Enough is enough, and our politicians need to make real reforms to the system that caused the crash. It makes me uh, angry, and I see so tremendous social problems arising Poor people are getting poorer, banks and rich people are getting richer, and this is uh, very undesirable. It makes me angry to see it. Just to give a big round of applause to the people all over the world who are campaigning today. I'm 23, um, so I work part-time, so I earn about um, a bit over a thousand pounds a month, and you can imagine paying rent and transport in London. That wipes out most of what I earn. Everybody I know, you know, is budgeting for their food and we're in work and we're not having to be responsible for families or anything like that. The kind of idea of having any kind of stability, having the ability to raise children in comfort, it just seems like a, a far off dream to think how a couple of financial decisions 10 years ago have impacted my life. It's quite dazzling to think about it. It is a disgrace that the city of London now has become the money laundering capital of the world. We will address the issue of money laundering.